In this video we'll learn to create a volume slider for our options menu. For those who don't know, me and my 34 subscribers created this option scene, and a main menu in the last video, you can check it out through the i button. Now let's start. First we'll add a text for our volume slider, go to canvas, then UI, and then text mesh pro. We'll change its text to volume, increase its size and then place it wherever you like. Now align the text to wherever it is. Now, let's get that slider for our volume control. I'll resize it, so it doesn't look skinny. You can change the position of the texture and slider however you want. Now let's create a script for our options menu. First we'll declare a float value for our slider. Then we'll declare an audio source so we can access it and change the volume. And also don't forget to add the audio namespace. Down here, we'll create a function for our slider. And it'll be taking float as an input. In the function, we'll access the volume variable of the audio mixer and change it to our volume input. Save the script. Now in Unity, drag and drop the script to any game object. Now select the volume slider, hit the plus button. Here, drag and drop the object with script. Then click the drop down, go to the script and select the function that we just created for our slider. And also, and also, change the minimum value of slider to minus 80, maximum to zero, and toggle on whole numbers. Now go to window then audio and then audio mixer. Here, create a new mixer. Now, select this master mixer. Go to the inspector, right click and expose the volume parameter. Click on this button, and name this parameter to exactly what we wrote here. Also, don't forget to add the mixer to the script. Now if you hit play, you'll be able to change the volume through the slider. To demonstrate this, I'll add an audio source to the canvas. In the output option, select the mixer that we just created. And for the source, I'll use this free sound. Now if I hit play, our volume slider is working perfectly fine. In the next video, we'll add buttons to change graphics quality of the game.